All right, welcome. My name is Jack Bosch, and right now we're going to do a seven part series about land flipping and how it works. So this is session number one, which is really about the overview. Now, what the heck is land flipping? Land flipping is like house flipping, it's like house wholesaling to be actually uh, more specific, just without the number one complicating factor in real estate, which is the house. So in other words, what we do with land flipping or land wholesaling is we're finding people in the, in the entire United States who's, who no longer want their piece of land for many, many different reasons, and they're willing to give it up for literally anywhere between 10 and 45 cents on the dollar. So this is not the motivated seller that the house flipper looks like this is the actual what we call the non-wanter people who just don't care for it anymore either they have inherited the property they've gotten it through uh, perhaps through a divorce they are getting older and the kids don't want them they bought them 30 years ago thinking they're gonna build something on it they never did they just want to dispose of it now for many many other reasons and lastly many even have tried selling it with a realtor but here's a piece of uh, knowledge that is that most realtors have been trained to sell houses not trained to sell land so as a result they don't have the first clue how to put together an effective land listing so they might have taken this property put it up on the market with an ugly picture an ugly description and nobody bought it and so the seller thinks the property is worthless and they're giving it to you now for pennies on the dollar but that property is far from worthless. As a matter of fact, we focus on three kinds of properties. We focus on number one, infill lots. Infill lots, think of a street, 35 houses, one empty lot, ready to be built on. Guess what? These lots, let's say the houses in the neighborhood are worth $500,000, the lot is worth 100 grand. You can pick it up for 50, sell it to a builder for 85 tomorrow, and the builder goes and builds a house on it. It's a sure $35,000 in a matter of like, two weeks, like that's how fast it can go. Now, the second kind of property is the properties in the path of growth. And these properties, they're typically attractive for, uh, again, also builders, if it's very close to the city, or for future retirees. There's basically a lot of people in the United States, statistics show that over 70% of people in the United States over the age of 50 don't have enough money saved to live a dignified retirement. They might have a few thousand all set on the side, they might have a little 401k or, or IRA, but many are literally one illness, one car breakdown, or something like that away from being broke. Well, guess what? When they want to retire, they can't even afford to rent anymore in town because rents are crazy high. So what they instead do is they go outside of town, about 10, 20, 30 minutes outside of that town, and buy a nice acre lot, half an acre lot, two acre lots, anywhere between half an acre and 10 acres, and they buy it on a road with utilities, Ideally, they want to pay it off in monthly payments, which we offer through seller financing. And then they go, once it's paid off 10 years from now, they go put a mobile home on there and now they have a dignified retirement. Now, another kind of buyer that we focus on are what we call COVID buyers. Now we call them jokingly, not because they have COVID, but because through COVID, their life has changed. They now work virtually. They now can live anywhere they want to live. They have been, they have suffered through COVID in a small apartment and now they want space. And now uh, with, with all of these things together, they can move anywhere in the United States and they don't want to move into the city. They want to live in a smaller city or outside of a bigger city. And they buy these two acre, five acre, 10 acre lots and build a house on it and then move there and they are, live happily ever after over there. The third kind of property that we focus on is actually recreational land. Now, recreational land is interesting for anyone that loves the outdoors. Like every, if you think about it, there's lots of people that, that have RVs, ATVs, dirt bikes, razors. Uh, they like hiking, biking, uh, boating, um, kayaking, hunting, those kind of things. And lots of people don't love what they do in their job, right? We'll talk about that much more in our channel here because if you share financial principles that allow you to break free and allow you to, to build absolute abundance in your life. But a lot of people suffer silently in their job and what they do is they buy toys and they want to use those toys like dirt bikes and so on on the weekend. They want to have a 20 acre, 40 acre, 80 acre parcel that they and their friends can go out on the weekend and horse around and then come back on Sunday night and then live their life of silent despair from Monday to Friday again. It's sad, but you know what? At least they're doing something about it by enjoying the weekend. And what we do is we find these lots, we put them on a 
contract without actually purchasing them. We just put them on a contract and then we market them on social media and different platforms and then we sell them to lots of these kind of buyers and then we do it ideally in a way that we don't ever even buy the property, that we don't even use our own money. We have done thousands of deals. My wife and I have done over 4,500 land flips and literally our students are now doing thousands of deals all over the United States and 90% plus of them, they're not putting a dollar of their own money into those deals. All right, so that's the basics of land flipping. Now the first step into land flipping is you can do this virtually from anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world for that matter, right? We got students sitting in Canada and pulling in half a million dollars by flipping land in the United States, half a million dollars a year. We got students sitting in Chile, South America, doing 50 deals a year in the United States. We got students in Germany that does, does 300 deals a year in the United States from Germany. So in other words, you can live anywhere you want and you can do these deals anywhere in the United States. So even if you live in Manhattan, you can do deals in Alabama, Florida, Chicago, wherever the heck you wanna do deals in the United States. All right, this concludes day one of the seven days of land flipping. Make sure that you exit this video right now and go straight to the next video because there's six more coming. All right, watch them right now. This is super exciting stuff.